there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. Today's video is going to be an apartment tour. My husband and I just recently bought a home and we are getting ready to move in like three weeks. So before I do that, I wanna take you guys on a tour, show you the place. About nine months ago, we moved in here after we sold our home and we completely downsized. And I did an empty apartment tour if you missed that. I'll go ahead and put a card up here so you can watch it. And it's neat to see the contrast between how this place looked before we moved in and I was really unsure of how it was gonna function to now where I feel like very comfortable in this smaller space. I've made it function for our toddler, our newborn, and ourselves. And I'm gonna share that with you guys today. So I'm gonna do this in two parts. The first part I'm just gonna take you through, I'm gonna show you everything. And then the second part, I'm gonna take you back through some of the rooms and give you a little bit more detail. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, I'm at Megan Bell Made. Go over there and check out my highlights where I have shown you guys a lot of the little things that I've done since we moved in that I wasn't really able to share on YouTube. I'm gonna to try to link as many things as I can down below in the description box, but if you see anything that you have a question about, please leave me a comment. So yeah, let's get started.
now that you've seen the place, I wanna share with you some things that I've used to maximize my storage and also just stay tidy. This is a shoe cabinet from Ikea and I love it because it has a ton of storage and I was able to actually attach it to the wall. I made over this piece in a previous video and it has so much storage in it. You could easily find something like this on Facebook Marketplace to hold extra items. I have an Instagram highlight on how I added doors to this Ikea bookcase that stores all of my extra books that I don't want on display. This TV slash media console has so much storage in it and I actually have a video on how I made it available on my channel. Not only are these Ikea bookshelves enormous, but they are inexpensive and they have so much storage if you add the drawers. I added extra seating here in the kitchen and I have an Instagram highlight on that. And I also added shelves above it so that I could have some extra pantry storage since we don't really have much of a pantry here in our apartment. We have a pretty small dining room that shares our laundry room as you can see. And I recently did a dining room makeover for a small dining room. So you'll have to check that out if you have a small dining room as well. We don't have a lot of closet space here. So having extra storage in the bedroom is key. I made over this Ikea dresser not too long ago and it has been the perfect size for both my husband and my clothes and without being too bulky. Since our room is small, I didn't want tabletop lamps taking up too much space. So I installed these sconces and they're actually plug-in. I just used the these cord covers from Amazon and painted them to make them look a little more intentional. Closets like these just have a shelf on top and then a rail for clothes, but there's so much wasted space at the bottom. I added these shelves with drawers from Ikea and it has been such a game changer just holding all of our extra little toys and items. I don't think you can have too much storage for children's items, so I did make over this armoire slash wardrobe recently for the kids and I added that in here as well. I found it on Facebook Marketplace for very cheap and I have a video on it as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of really great content coming to you guys soon. Now that we'll be moving, I'll have a new house. I can modify it. I can do so many things I couldn't do in a rental. I can't wait. I'll see you guys next time.